Right then, everyone, it is Liverpool who take on Brighton. Welcome back to L5 Star FC. First and foremost, I hope you're all having a brilliant week. And it is that time again where we return to Premier League action. So, guys, before we get any further in this video, make sure you go over and you check out my channel, which is Clock Talk TV. If you're struggling for the game, I have a live watch along where you watch the game with me, uh, or watch me watching the game, um, rather, uh, on the channel tomorrow. So, make sure you go and subscribe. The link should be in the description but if you're not subscribed to l5 star fc i expect you to do it road to 500 subs is on i keep saying it but the more i say it it will happen manifestation come on boys you know what it is but guys liverpool brighton and you know what i'm i'm confident going into this game on the back of a 5-0 win against manchester united what's for there to, for me to say that Liverpool will stumble in this game. We're 23 matches unbeaten. We go back to our famous place in Anfield. You know, we're on such a run uh, and such a vein of form already. Brighton have just come back off losing to Man City. But, you know, I want to break that down. They did lose to Manchester City last week and it was 4-1. You know, they, they haven't won each of their last four games, of which included three draws and one loss. But I think when you break it down, we have to give Brighton credit for the start of the season that they had. You know, they were in and around that top four positions. And I think you have to give credit to not only Brighton as a team, but also the manager. Graham Potter, I highly rate him. Guys, get in the comments down below. Do you rate Graham Potter as a manager? But I rate him because of the system that he's implemented into, obviously, Brighton. I think he did have a spell at Liverpool's academy at some point. I think, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think he did. But... Um, you know, the attacking players that they have at their disposal, a reunion with Adam Lallana, we will see. But, um, you know, Brighton have enough quality at their disposal to get a result here. However, the vein of form that Liverpool are in currently cannot tell me that Brighton will get a result because Liverpool are just blowing teams away for fun. They are front three is in insane form. And do you know what the funny thing is? Klopp is rotating and we're still blowing teams out of the water. And we kind of expect this around to, to about Christmas time where Klopp finds that, that start in 11, which he plays for a consistent period of games towards the business end of the season. But the fact he's rotating, it's just like clockwork for these players. They are scoring week in, week out. Obviously, that, that three-goal spell away from home ended um, last uh, against Preston, which is absolutely gutting. But you've got to just, it's testament to, to what you know we're achieving so far in this season to get three goals in every away game uh, two months into a season where we've played what was it nine eight or nine away, away games all season and we've got three in literally nearly all of them it, it's it's credit to the way the club has set out his players and the response that we've had since from last season and you know that's why I'm saying that Liverpool will be in, in same form and especially to compound that with the ma the atmosphere tomorrow it's going to be a good game I'm pretty sure of it and I'm sure it will be a day where we bring them three points but starting 11 prediction I think Alisson keeps his place in goal I think that's pretty certain certified with the back four for me I would start Matip in this game uh it's shout whether or not to bring Canate in I would start Canate do I want to see Canate 100% however if, if I'm predicting uh, who he's going to pick I think he'll predict Matip to go alongside Van Dijk just because I think what did Van Matip do to deserve to be dropped? Or we could potentially see Joe Gomez, but I think the chances are we'll see either Matip or Canate. I think Matip alongside Van Dijk with Trent and Andrew Robertson are on the e either opposing flank. So in the middle of the park, an area which involves much scrutiny and uncertainty going into this game. But I think uh, obviously with no Fabinho in this game, I think... Uh, Henderson will start the midfield alongside Curtis Jones, no James Milner. Naby Keita could be back for this game, though, uh, after a, a very lucky escape after that Pogba challenge last Sunday. So, if you're predicting the midfield, I think it will be Curtis Jones, Jordan Henderson. I'm not saying Naby Keita makes a return. I really am. I think he's going to make a return here. Uh, it's just... Does Alex Oxley chamberlain come into the mixer? I'm not too sure, mate, because I don't think he's proved it. I think that Preston game didn't really help him at all, because I don't think he was good in that game at all. So I think Naby will make a, a start. And then the front three, Mane will return after a cameo performance at United. No performance in press, since he's bound to be back into the team this game. I think Firmino will go into that centre-forward role, and I think Salah will go on the right. Guys, get in your sort in the Lemons predictions down below. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. Let me know what you think. Let me know your score predictions and all that sort of stuff. Remember, guys, remember, obviously, the watch-along on my channel, so go over and check that out. But, guys... You'll never walk alone. Let's get this three points. Come on now, boys. Come on. Come on.